نحمده و نسلی علی رسول کریم ما بعد السلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکاته We like to every now and then go on a picnic take the family out on a weekend pack the food in the back go out to a nice meadow pleasant place sun is out everyone's enjoying themselves relaxing and then obviously you hear a buzzing a buzzing sound around your ear take a few swings at it it's annoying you and then eventually it takes a little sting bites you you might curse a little bit you might say something offensive eventually you feel obliged to kill that particular bee for what it did or the wasp for what it did but today that's going to be the nikmat that we're going to discuss we have over the at least a week now gone from looking at particular organs inside the body to flying out into outer space to then land and splash back into the ocean and now we're going to see what the bees are up to now bees surprisingly enough play a very important role not only that in terms of they produce the honey that we need and we consume and obviously it keeps lots of people in business it keeps people employed <clears throat> but also bees are very useful for pollinating so when they go in and land in a flower or a male part of the uh, plant it picks up on its legs pollen and things then as it flies off to another flower lands in there it then drops it off there so this is a form of pollination in which it allows plants the male and female aspects of plants to interact in fact without bees we would have a huge problem with pollination and if there was no pollination then there would be no harvest so the majority of fruits and vegetables which may not make that many people upset uh, because fruit and vegetables are usually on our list at the top of things to eat at the time we break our fast usually it's the last things right at the end all the savories come first even though our families may put the fruit first and the dates just to entice us we somehow manage to avoid it get into the kitchen and get the savories But joking aside without a fruit and vegetable diet then there will obviously be a profound impact on us in terms of where we will be getting the vitamins from where we will be getting the nutrients from so things like apples cherries blueberries avocado broccoli in fact most greens as we call them cucumbers pumpkins and many many other types of fruit and vegetable would dissipate disappear off the face of the earth almonds which is a, an unusual one also without bees pollinating would also disappear and in fact you could go on and mention a few areas where this would have a direct impact when we look at the shell or the hull on the almond that is usually ground down and fed to cows because it contains lots of nutrients when the cows consume them then they produce milk the lack of these husks or shells on top of the almonds as a form of a diet for the cows would mean their milk production would decrease massively as a result milk would be affected so when there's no milk obviously anything which comes from milk all the dairy products in your fridge the yogurts the ice cream the whatever you open you open your fridge door your freezer door anything which is of a dairy nature will also disappear so the next time we sit with our picnic basket open and that pesky bee decides to fly past you think of that nikmat which allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed on the surface of the earth in order to benefit us so when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us fa bi ayyi ala'i rabbikum tukadiban which one of the favors of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will you deny then even as something as unremarkable something as insignificant in fact you could say something as a nuisance like a bee literally it's a tiny little thing so many things hinge on that particular insect staying alive 
without it staying alive, it would have a direct impact on us as humans. Now these are some that I've recollected, some that I remember. There are many others, ni'mats around us, that we may not have time, inshallah, between now and whenever Eid is, to discuss them. And it may be that for some things, even those men of science and women of science have not really understood them properly as to what role that thing particularly plays in our lives. But know this, that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created it and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that I've created everything that is in the world, on the surface of the earth and in the heavens is for humans, for mankind, then know that it plays a part somehow on the ecosystem or the habitat or anything which will ensure that we have an easy, comfortable life. So we don't complain to Allah that we didn't have, we had this shortage or that shortage or we had a lack of this. Our aim or what should be or what should be a result of this observation or what should be a result of this understanding is our affirmation in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and also our acknowledgement of the numerous favors that he has bestowed upon us. And then as a direct consequence of that realization, it should mean that our link to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our status of ubudiya, slavery to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, becomes more, we become more aware of it, we realize it more. Then the direct impact of that should be that our ibadah increases. These are all like dominoes, one after the other, that we are supposed to follow through. We're not supposed to sort of, you know, drop the ball as the saying goes. Each step leads to the next step rationally. So always whenever you recite Surah Rahman, whenever you come across these ayats, or you see something and you find out about something which is quite remarkable and unusual that you did not know, then the minimum we should say is SubhanAllah, but the next thing should be is how do I now, with this knowledge, become closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability that once we've understood these things to actually make the next step. And that's going to be my focus over the next two or three days is alhamdulillah we've been amazed and dazzled by the facts and figures and the information that's been shared with you. Now is, that's okay, we can now close our chin. You know, we've done that. We can close our eyes, close the chin. What are you going to do with that information? How are you going to take it to the next level? How are you going to take your ibadah to the next level? How are you going to be the better version of yourself that sits in front of us right now? That's the next task, inshallah. So I would appreciate, I will do the same if we all reflect over this, over the next two, three days as to how we utilize this ilm, how we utilize this understanding to make a better version of ourselves. وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته